Hey everybody, today we are checking out an XMR email as promised. Today we are checking out the chicken pasta parmesan meal. That's what the other side of the packaging looks like. This one has 459 grams on it and it's got a calorie count of there's calories 1230 calories well, this one is not a resealable bag so it really looks like on the inside So in this one we have sunflower kernels. Beverage base powder orange. And we got one pilot bread. We have fig bars. This is the main of the chicken parmesan. We have a spoon, fork, straw, and a napkin. We have cheese spread. One ounce. And we have the heating element for the FRH. And then this one I am using the FRH. There's a heat ration bag. A little steam hole on it. Alright, well, let's get warming up this main. Ooh, and it's got a nice little gusset. Could have gave you a little bit more room. And let's throw that fig bar in there too. Just to warm it up nicely. Heating element on the other side of it. Gusset doesn't work very well. Alright, let's get some water here. And I think you're gonna have to do it without the figs because they don't give a lot of room. I got the lighting in here so I can see exactly where the water line is. There we go. Now we will seal her up. 
give it a quick little shake. Make sure we don't spill any water. I want to get that FRH, all that heater, really soaked. Alright, wet enough there. Oh, oh, listen to that sucker go. It's got some good steam going. And I'm going to put that over here so it's not fogging up the camera. And in the meantime, I guess we will start open. Oh, let's get the drink going here. So we got the beverage base powder orange. So here we got add half a canteen cup, 12 ounces of water to contents and stir allow water just chemically purified to stand for 30 minutes after adding beverage base. Okay, there's the turn up. Not there. Now that looks like crafting or orange. And we're gonna add that to a water bottle here so we can get it shaken up good. I drank a little bit of this water in this water bottle ahead of time because I knew once adding the powder I wouldn't have enough room. I'll just let that sit for a few minutes. And we got these sunflower kernels. Sunflower seeds without the shell on them. Uh, I'm just going to dig out the oxygen absorber. I actually gave you a good amount. It's 2.2 ounces of sunflower seeds at 380 calories and off to the pilot bread it's a single piece I know it's kind of hard to see because all the reflectiveness it says it's a hundred calories a hundred calories for one cracker Smells like a good quality cracker. Put that there. Well, I guess we do the fig bar. I was hoping to put it in with the heater and warm it up a little bit, but yeah, that's still way too hot. She's cooking along there, that's for sure. So the fig bar is here, 300 calories. It's three ounces. Let's get that oxygen absorber out of there. They smell pretty good. Oh, and it's sticking a little bit.
still really soft. All we got left now is the cheese spread. But you always gotta knead these a little bit because you don't know if they're gonna snail with the they separated a little bit and it's easier to get them going when they're warm. I just need to soak a little bit here. This one does not want to open. I gotta get my knife. Yeah, a regular like food truck fork, pretty much. No, that spoon's even worse than a food truck spoon. And then of course a kinked fork quality straw. They don't even give you any salt and pepper or any kind of spice. No condiments whatsoever. It's a fairly cheap paper towel, but it'll get the job done. FRH is still coming along, but I think that I'll give it another minute. I'll we'll try the cracker here. Let's break off a little piece. Try it by itself. Bit of a little piece there. Mm, it's pretty good. It's a nice quality. Doesn't taste like a regular soda cracker or nothing that you get from supermarket we'll put a little bit of cheese on it here oh, yeah, that's the good stuff this cheese is always awesome we'll give that a try It's pretty good. All right, now we'll, let's get this main out of the bag here. All right, let's start getting a little bit of getting burned. That's going to be a nice little trick. the condensation from it it's pretty slippery there we go. I'm gonna set that off to the side oh yeah that's warmed up real nice All right, now I'm just gonna grab a paper towel here Dry some of this off. Ooh, that smells good. Get it out on 
go with the tray here. She's piping hot. Too much waste there. Oh. Okay, so I guess we can use the fork for this one. So it looks like there's It looks like it was spiral noodles. Looks like there's some parsley. Smells like good little marinara. Chili powder. A little salt and pepper. So we'll give it a little try here. Now the noodle is soft, well, really soft. I'm splitting this up here because I'm sharing it with someone. Let's try a piece of chicken. A little piece of the chicken looks like. Now, the chicken is, it's not soft, it's actually pleasantly surprising firm, and it's got a decent chicken taste, it's not like it's roasted or baked or anything, it's just like it's just cooked and then thrown in the meal. It looks like there's parsley, oregano, and of course the little white little specks there looks like it's the parmesan. Hey, you can definitely taste the chili powder. Some onion and garlic. And then that's a decent marinara it's not like a watered down spaghetti sauce it's actually quite thick and I guess we'll try some of these seeds for now Yeah, they taste like they're actually acting like a little bit of sunflower oil. Yeah, it tastes like they're a little salty, but otherwise pretty good. They're not stale or nothing, so... And here we got is the fig bark. It's actually really nice and soft. Mm. It's got a very strong shortening taste. It's 
kind of like a Fig Newton, but a little stronger. Yep, you really taste the uh, date and the um, yeah, definitely the fig and the short, and you really taste a good amount of it in there. Let's taste this cheese on its own there. Yep, good old military issue cheese spread. Now we got the orange stuff. Smells a mix in between tang and orange crush. Yeah, it tastes more like a like an off-brand tang. Could have used a little less water in it though, the 12 ounces. It uh, calls for water, seems to water it down a little bit. Yeah, I think next time I would only use uh, 8 ounces instead of the 12 ounces. Let's mix up some cheese in this. Let's see if that adds to the flavor at all. A little bit more. Come on, get off. There we go. Hmm. There's chicken parmesan. No, chicken pasta parmesan. It's actually pretty good. There it is mixed in with the cheese. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the heater squawking over there. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. You definitely want to use the cheese in it. Oh yeah. It definitely adds another layer. Oh, there's a piece of chicken right there. Yeah, the cheese adds another layer of flavors to it. And I guess if you wanted to add a little bit of crunch to it, you could always break up some of your cracker. Sprinkle it in. Add a little bit more crunch to it. Oh yeah. Adds a lot more texture to it. The noodles in it are really soft, so it is kind of disappointing. But if you add a little bit of cracker and the cheese to it, it's almost like a gourmet dish. And then you got the big bars there for dessert. This one was actually a well thought out and put together. It's very disappointed though that they didn't give any condiments or even a hot drink. Like there is no instant coffee. And usually you think a military MRE, or military style MRE, you would get a hot beverage with it. But no, not this time. And I think, well, right there, I'll bring it up closer so you can see it better. So I think that might be spinach, that big piece right there.
But yeah, they gave you a really good amount of the sunflower seeds. You can definitely eat those when you're on the go. Same with the cracker. But yeah, the main, I was actually really impressed with. Now, as I said, I'm sharing this with someone so they can try it too. So I gotta make sure that I save them their half. Because that's only fair. Now, if all the other mains are like this, good quality and delicious, I would definitely recommend them. That's just some sauce. But yeah, so this was the chicken pasta parmesan meal kit by XMRE. I guess we will have to wait and see which one I pick for next week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And I'll see you next time.